Hey, this is Matt. Once again, what about to another review? There's another paid request from Edward who has asked me to review South Park episodes. At least he requested two more, episode five and this episode six. Um, if anyone was to send in a paid request, feel free to be for pretty much anything. Topic, reaction, review, re-review, whatever. It didn't either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And once again, this is South Park which I've ad nauseum have said I liked the movie but I don't like the show and the first couple episodes I gave it leniency okay it is what it is it's not my cup of tea but I just fuck leniency you know why am I being nice to a show that I don't like I guess I was trying to be fair but then I'm like fuck fair fuck fair and you have shorts on just hot as hell in Texas it's either rainy as hell, or it's rainy as hell, or it's wet as hell, or it's hot as hell. Except the one moment where it's cold as hell, we almost died. But anyway, back to this. I, 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 I like Beavs of Butthead. I like fucking Andrew Dice Clay stand-up. It's not that I, I'm against un-PC stuff. It's just I don't think this is funny or clever or entertaining. I think at times he's either super lowbrow or it's trying to be edgy for edgy sake or offensive for offensive sake without and I know this is trying to be witty and trying to give a nod about how when the show came out a lot of people said oh this is just a bunch of fart jokes and immature toilet humor so okay they do this episode where on one end Stan's grandpa has a birthday he's 102 years old but he keeps saying I wish I was dead so he wants assisted suicide. What do we do? Meanwhile, the kids watch this show called Terrence and Philip, who go, You're an asshole, Philip. And they just fart and fart and fart. And it's supposed to be their nod to, Well, people say that all we do is immature humor and fart jokes. Well, this is a show that does have cheap animation. And this is a show that only does fart jokes. I'm like, yeah, you know, you're right, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, you're Terrence and Philip. that is what it is. In my opinion, you're not much better. You're not much better than the Terrence and Philip show, in my opinion. Because you still have a long scene where you're in a classroom and Kenny gets explosive diarrhea and Kenny keeps going back and forth to the bathroom, farting and shitting and shitting and farting. Oh, it smells like a slaughter cow, Kenny. I mean, yeah, it's trying to give a little bit of merit to cancel culture before cancel culture was a thing. And about how the parents are trying to get this show shut down because it's horrible from a standards and practices viewpoint. And I get it that there's a nice piece of dialogue. I'll give credit to a piece of dialogue where the kids are going... You know what? They should spend less time worried what their kids watch and more time worrying what's going on in their kids' lives. Yeah, it's like they rely on TV as a babysitter for their kids. And that seems like, yeah, that's what they want to say. So they have the terror to say it. Okay. Blunt. But alright. And that's truthful. What's that was truthful. And probably the other bit I didn't mind is when the network came out and he told the crowd on behalf of the network fuck you that's like the one kind of chuckle I got but then before that you get another long scene where Kenny's diarrhea has infected the others and oh I just had they're just going to the porta potties a lot of diarrhea jokes oh I just had a brown baby boy oh I've got the green apple splatters like this is uh, the Kenny dying dad got old quick. The way Kenny dies in this is death shows up, and the grandpa's like, "Take me," and death's like, "Nah," but it starts chasing the kids, and it touches Kenny, kills him, but then. It watches the Terrence and Phillips show and starts laughing. And then the ghost of Marvin's grandfather 
the Marvin is the, the grandpa and his grandfather has a ghost and going, don't force Stan to commit such a traumatizing act. If you want to die, you want to die, but don't let someone else do it and have them get the trauma of doing all that whole thing. And it ends with the parents, you know, get Terrence and Philip off the air, but another show comes on, which is just as filthy and just as potty mouthed. As in the kids like, oh, my uncle said smoked and crack is kind of cool. And then they go off. Again, I just, the sense of humor, this, yeah, there's a little bit of merit to what they were saying about, you know, don't worry about what's happening in your kid. Worry more about what's happening in your kids' lives, not what they watch, not what they watch on TV. And about yeah, they rely on TV as a babysitter, so they don't pay attention to their kids. Which sadly is a true thing. It's a true statement. That's the one thing I'll take from this episode. Other than that, though, like I said, I don't care about these characters. I don't care about Stan. I don't care about Tenny farting and shitting and shitting and farting. I don't care about all the fart jokes. I hate fart jokes. I can't but I just I hate fart jokes. I never found them funny. Blazing Saddles, great movie. Not for the fart scene. In fact, whenever I watch Blazing Saddles, I just skip that scene. I'm just, that's just not for me. That's not my cup of tea. That's not my style of humor. Again, this coming guy that I watch, you know, Andrew Dice Clay. Adventures of Four Fairlane, or Richard Pryor stand-up, or Eddie Murphy's Raw, and I've, I'm fine with un-PC humor. It's just this humor with the South Park guys is not my cup of tea. I didn't, there, there are a handful of moments I didn't mind other than that. Animation-wise, not really anything to talk about. Music-wise, not really anything to talk about. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. So, with that said, thanks for watching. I know it's not much of a review because I don't know how. What can I review? Do you review a comedy or a comedy episode? Was it funny? No. Okay, what else can you review? Acting, as the voices, uh, the voice work isn't bad. It's never bad. It's just I don't care about the characters. I don't know much of anything about the characters still, and I don't care about the characters. Well, it's a cartoon. You're not supposed to care. Okay, so all I can view it is as a comedy. And as a comedy, I didn't find it that funny when the network says fuck you that was a small little chuckle and then given the sort of the the blunt point of the episode okay that was a nice food for thought other than that didn't give a shit so with that said we'll see you guys later bye bye